Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading the week of October 18th through the 24th. My weekly readings are always focused on the area of your love life. So we're going to go ahead and take a look with the Romance Angels Oracle and my Gypsy decks. I'm going to be using it today. I'm going to be pulling one from my Romance Angels and a few from here as guided and see what comes up. So do keep in mind this is a general reading. Again, it's for the week of October 18th through the 24th. So I'm focusing on the Law of Attraction. Actually, I'm feeling two. Feeling two for the Romance. And I'm going to be shuffling the Gypsy deck. And just getting a few from here. So the first one from the Romance Angels is a, religious factors. I'm seeing a lot of, instantly I'm feeling a lot of Queen of Wands type of energy when I look at this. Anyone that's had a reading from me knows that different things will oftentimes come up off the cards that really have nothing to do with the meaning of the card or the words on the card. So I went right to, I saw the Queen of, felt that fiery energy, felt that passion energy. I feel, I feel those in relationships have found a sense of inner power, a sense of inner strength, of knowing their own sense of integrity, their own, this is all about that inner, the solar chakra is coming up very deeply along with the queen of wands, which is all about passion, self, you know, your self passion, something within yourself has come to light, is, is really the, the focus of what's on your mind, of what's in your energy, of what's in your aura right now, and you're really exuding this, so you may find that if you're single, you're really attracting people left and right, you really maybe or you can't even really figure out how is this happening, I'm like a, a magnet to people, but I'm really getting that magnetized energy, I do feel this is for the females that are that are watching this video or getting these messages right now, and it can even be a fire sign woman um, that this is going to pertain to the most at this time, but definitely a lot of that fiery energy, that self um, empowerment is what is coming up here, and I, I'm feeling it is just like exuberating from her here and we're going to see what the second one is is free yourself so wow so it's that inner again it's that inner this is all about you right now so even though this is a love relationship energy reading this is about that inner magic that you have you found that inner strength there's some sort of inner strength here for again it could be a fire sign it doesn't have to be um and oftentimes when this card comes up in a reading it, it's it's not so much about freeing yourself from the relationship but when I get this in a sense of combination here this is about freeing your inner magic freeing that that energy is coming you know I don't know that you're even consciously doing something to exude it it's just it's just been freed it's been you know it's coming outward and you can see it from you know what I was getting from this card energetically so it's just coming out of you um, and, and it's all around your aura. You can see this fence around the, the unicorn, and the unicorn is very magical. So your energy surrounding you right now is just very, very magical, and you can't really help but attract, you know, you're right on target for attracting what it is that you want in your life, whether that be in the relationship that you're in now or whether that if you're single, this may be applying to those that are single because a lot of times the readings are pertain to, to um, relationships. So I do feel that this could be about someone that is single or those that are single right now. But you are really, you know, you have that magnetic energy, you know, that magic within you is being released and that is what you're attracting so the manifestation work that you're doing all the effort that you put in is really coming out it's coming out and, and you're wearing that very brightly in your aura and your energy right now the one that fell over is gift so this also goes along with that you know your gifts your spiritual gifts this is you shining your light the abundance within yourself is the energy coming up off this card it doesn't have to be jewelry you know this is all about that abundance within you your gifts that you have to give to others what you bring to the table in relationships you're really exuding it you can't even hardly help yourself i mean you've just really been empowered and you're standing in that truth right now, and it's it's just right there on the table. Your value is out there on display, is what they're indicating here. Um, and here we have thief, very interesting. And 
maybe in the past, I'm feeling a sense of centering and stopping and going. I'm almost seeing like a traffic light here with the colors in this card. So I feel that's that energy of stop and go. So you may have been coming into this little by little and progressing with this energy. Um, you know, and then fears come up and, and like steal the energy and stop you in your tracks because I'm getting that. Again, it's that cautious energy. So you may be still be feeling a little bit cautious, you know, even though the light is green, you know, you're in that cautious mode here of like, is this happening? You know, can I trust this? And you can see they're moving towards the rose. You can see a rose on a vase on the table. So they're moving towards that table of that abundance. And this is all about you and your energy right now. We're going to see what the final card is. And it is Psy. And there's that rose again. So it's like a resting point. Right now, you are in the middle. This is like the center. They're showing me here with this sort of traffic light, stop and go. And you're in the center of the cautious, the yellow. You're sitting right on that. You're sitting right on your inner power. And it's that inner, middle energy. But they're indicating to completely go ahead and free yourself. You, you know, you are finding and standing in your own inner power right now. And this is sort of the size all about a resting point. Taking time for you. You may have stopped to take time for you to consider what you want, what you are, what you are bringing to the table in a relationship, what you have to offer other people in relationships. So this is a time to kind of reflect, slow down, be cautious, Really taking that time for yourself to see what it is that you bring to the table and you're going to like magically be coming into what it is that you have to offer and you're really just going to be exuding that you're attracting that is what spirit is saying so really realizing your own inner value right now is really what's important for those that are being guided to this reading so whether you're in relationship or you're not that is a message for those that are viewing today and for this upcoming week so pause this week and reflect take some time before you go forward or backward, because you're in that center point, take some time to reflect on your own inner value and your own power. Um, and I feel that you're going to be moving forward. I feel this is just a pausing moment this week. And then the following week, we're going to see more movement coming. But this is all about yourself, your own inner strength, the things that you bring to the table in relationships, um, what you have to offer others. And this is all about taking a moment to kind of reflect because these last two cards brought us back into center brought us into a little bit of a slower energy in between it's like that in between energy but it is definitely there it is definitely coming beautiful message this week so that can apply again to those in relationship and those that are looking for a relationship those that are single right now so taking that time um, I'm really going to be, I'm being guided to um, Archangel Michael Oracle, so I'm going to conclude with one message from Archangel Michael, and I feel it's this one, and it says, this is your life's purpose, and it says, you know the details of the divine life purpose, and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals, so this is about your goals, this is what you have. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps forward, okay, to fully manifest a wonderful and meaningful career. So I do feel this is about that, just as I, what I was saying, to bring you into alignment. It was that alignment like with the stop sign energy here, the stop light energy, and to uh, so you can manifest the wonderful outcome that you want because this is not about your life purpose this is about you and relationship and it's truly looking at what you are holding on to what is within you you can see that in the in the visual in this card so that is also his message it is just repeating what we just saw here in this in this lineup so what an amazing message from spirit and i'm also seeing not only the stop sign kind of energy in this but again i don't know if i said that i'm seeing christmas energy i see christmas here and we're probably, we're, we're, I don't know if we're midpoint into that right now, but I do feel that you may have a better idea of something or something may come to you um, around Christmas time. I'm getting Christmas. I'm being drawn now to the red and the green, which brings up that energy of Christmas, especially in combination with the gift. So that is amazing. And it is a religious holiday, of course, as we all know, beautiful Um uh, Christmas time and so yeah I am seeing that you are going to have the energies again the energy for those some in the relationship something something coming for someone is around Christmas time the energy is going to free up so I'm getting another message here as I'm looking at this it may be something you've been waiting on it's going to come to some that are watching this around Christmas time um 
you know, this is like a whole other message coming out here. And, and, and it, it, it may be in something that's kind of in a waiting period right now. So um, that is another message that is coming from Spirit up for some that are watching. So those that watch to the end of this reading uh, may have gotten a separate message altogether. So I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. I hope that it has brought you light and clarity. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. I'm sending angel blessings. And of course, I'm sending oceans of love to everyone. Hugs.